Hello faithful audience of about 30 people. We are on to our second series of videos, a review of Pancras Truth 1. Tonight we have the debut of two feature stars of Pancras and an interim title fight because in Pancras if you don't show up to work every month they will strip you of your title. Before the matches begin we are treated to a parade of fighters. Ken Shamrock screws up saying hybrid wrestling and then Bus Rudin comes to the ring wearing an awesome Pancras tracksuit. He apologizes that he cannot fight tonight because he broke his hand beating the absolute crap out of Ryushi Yanagisawa in their awesome match at Pancras Eyes of the Beast 7. As such, the bosses of Pancras have decided to create an interim title which is to be contested between Minoru Suzuki and Frank Shemrock. If the UFC took this approach we wouldn't have to wait two damn years for Cain Velasquez to defend his belt, but in my opinion, taking one month off for injury sure as hell shouldn't result in you being potentially stripped of your title. On another note, Pancras aired this show as Throwdown on pay-per-view in the USA, albeit with a few of the matches stripped out and Ken Shamrock and Don the Dragon Wilson running commentary, which I think was received well enough. But enough bullshit and let's get on with the show. And we are underway. So Yuki Kondo has just been pulled up from the Pancras Dojo into a f match against Takafumi Ito, who is riding a two-fight losing streak. They are sitting at the distance and throwing out some kicks. Nice body kick from Ito there. Nice inside low. Ito 1 2. And a nice counter knee by Yuki Kondo. And he sprawled out on Ito's takedown attempt. So Yuki Kondo could wrestle. Yeah, so Ito was the first young boy to graduate into Pancras proper. And Yuki is part of that second generation coming up. And he'd go on to have an absolutely great career afterwards. He's had 102 fights. And he most recently fought Minoa Man. Uh, they both had at least 100 fights each, and it was, it was, it was disappointing. And Ito is really struggling to get out of this front headlock. He cannot get any penetration on his uh, attack, and he's returned to standing, and he's eaten a knee, and a slap, and a high kick, and he's grabbed on and shot again. But uh, he's been sprawled on again. So Yuki can wrestle, and he stopped Ito from going around the side, and Ito's gone for an arm roll, and he's given up his back. So Yuki's just checking to see if there's any openings here, using one-on-ones on Ito's wrists, and he's decided to screw that and return back to standing up. So they're back at the distance. Nice checked kick there. Well done, Yuki. Hanging out at the distance. Lead front kick from Yuki there. He's thrown that uh, right hand quite hard and that's given Ito a chance to duck in on that double leg and he's gotten Yuki down but he's deep in a guillotine and no one's invented the Von Flu choke yet so uh, that defense isn't available to Ito whereas these days you'd sort of throw your uh, free arm over the shoulder and that would relieve some of the pressure on your neck and he does not look particularly happy um, is he unconscious or is he still alive oh he's still going and he's still trying to get out, but this does not look good. And he's being rolled over, and I think he is out. In fact, yeah, he's out. So Yuki's let him go, Ito has come back too, and Yuki has won.